Good afternoon, welcome to Run Like Gaming. We're going to be playing a, well, we're going to be demonstrating another game. Uh, this one is called Pooh, the card game. Uh, this will be done by Wild Thing, is the name of the company that made it. And the game is a, just a very straight, you know, quick playing game. Uh, the object of the game, as silly as it may sound, is to fling 15 poo at, well, whenever an opponent uh, gets 15 poo on them, they're eliminated from the game. And there are different cards that we're going to go over as far as how it plays. Uh, this is usually a very small game, so uh, being a small game, it's really cheap, so it's probably kind of like a stocking stuffer type game or a small birthday present if you. Uh, know someone that just wants something that might be five ten dollars. This might be just something for you know, just be a little silly with and just kind of throw on the table. But as I said, if an opponent ever gets 15, well, if anyone at the table gets 15 poo put on them, uh, they will be eliminated from the game itself. Uh, whenever you're eliminated, you have one option which is these golden bananas here. The first person to be eliminated with a golden banana is going to be able to come back into the game. And I'll kind of explain a little more of that very soon as well. The first uh, thing we have, in this case this is like a regular poo card. Uh, this one does one poo to one opponent. So basically you choose one of your opponents, they get one poo flung at them. Uh, this is going to be like a really powerful poo card, it's a special one. This one does three poo to each of two adjacent opponents. They must each defend against it separately. So this, the more powerful ones do a lot more damage and they sometimes hit multiple people. A lot of times you just read the card and do what it says. Like a lot of these are gonna, they're not all gonna be the same. For example, this regular poo card does three poo to one particular opponent. So they're not gonna all be ones. Uh, just like this one's not all going to be three for the, the special ones. They're all a little bit different in how they play and what they do. Uh, this one is a clean card. This will be the next thing that you can actually play. The clean card removes four poo from yourself. So this is kind of like a, a heal spell, if you want to call it that, if you play like any kind of D&D &D or uh, kind of any kind of RPG. This is kind of like a, a heal spell, so you remove some of the poo from yourself. Uh, this is an event card, uh, and it always says it right under the artwork here. For example, this particular event, if you were to play it, no one can fling a poo or special poo card on their next turn. Take another turn immediately after playing this card. So, if you were to play this card, it has that particular effect. The next one is a block, uh, or a defense card. The defense cards... Uh, these are things that can be used at any time. And what defense cards do is they protect you from certain uh, cards being thrown at you. Uh, they'll have different defensive effects on it. In this particular case, stops all poo from one poo or special poo card flung at you. So let's say if someone were to throw this at me, and I would have taken it, well, I would have gotten one poo for that, I could then in response throw this down, and it would actually block it. The next one are mishap cards. These can also be played at any time. In the, this particular case, this is called Cramp. Play on an opponent just as he flings a poo or special poo at anyone. The poo is flung fine, but he loses his next turn. So this is something you can throw down on someone that might have just threw a poo at someone, whether it be you or someone else. And then you can make give them the Cramp, which then gets them to uh, lose their next turn. So it's kind of like a revenge strike, I guess you call it. If you do get 15 poo, uh, you can grab one of these cards, and if you grab this card, you actually come back into the game. Because with the golden banana, is it's something that sits in the middle of the table. If you're playing with five to eight players, you play with both of them. If you're playing with less than five players, you just play with one of these. But the first person put out of the game is brought back with a total of eight poo left on him. So this uh, brings them back into the game and it removes some of the poop from them so they can start again. So that's to kind of give you an idea what kind of cards are in the game. Now when you play, 
you're going to have a hand size of five. So we're going to deal out three players here. And this one over here. And you're going to need some sort of counter. You can use a piece of paper, you can use dice, you, there's a lot of different things. You can use pennies, just whatever you want. You just need something to count up uh, any kind of uh, poo that you have thrown at you. So in this particular case, I have a lot of clean cards. So, normally you wouldn't reveal them, but we'll go ahead and just kind of show. So we have three clean cards here, and then I have these two. One I can throw four at someone, the other one I can throw three at someone. So I'm going to go ahead and throw four at the player on my left here. So in this case, we're going to use poker chips. So right now, he has four thrown at him. And then we'll just use those with, uh, I guess we'll probably use a better color since it blends in with the table a little bit. So we use these blue chips here. So you see, uh, just something to count uh, what they have. So in this case, I use this. So we're going to go ahead and throw that in the discard pile. We're going to throw the one banana off to the side so that way if someone wants to, you know, if someone gets eliminated, they can play that. And since I use one of my cards, I will now draw a new one. Next one. Alright, so we have a couple different things here. So we have some event cards. Uh, the only thing that you can actually play during, well, the cards that you're normally going to play during your, team, your turn is either an event card, a poo card, the special poo card, which are those really powerful ones, and the clean cards. Uh, I actually forgot to check in his hand what he had before I did that, because he might have had defense cards, which might have protected him, if he chose to defend himself. So let's say we now go to this player here. They're going to go ahead and fling something back at us because, you know, we just flung at them, so maybe they want to throw back at us. So now he's going to throw three back at this player here. Now, at this point, I can't actually respond with a defense card. So I'm going to go ahead and do the dodge here. So this one says, one poo or special poo card flung at you misses you. Pick either opponent to your left or right. He takes the poo instead and can't do anything about it. So what he did was he threw three at me, I decided to go ahead and dodge, and because I dodged, I'm going to actually get, you know, basically get out of the way, and the, the player on my right, I'm going to go ahead and send it his way. So because I did that, he is now going to have three poo flung at him. So right now he's sitting at three, he's sitting at four, I'm safe right now. So he got that one, and this one got that one. And this is going to continue on, as I said, until 15 poo get uh, thrown at each of the players, and there's one left standing. But let's say that, you know, this person here got 15. They could go ahead and grab this, which, as I said, will bring it back into the game. And bringing them back themselves back into the game, they can continue on and you know, play as normal. So. Uh, yeah, otherwise, as I said, most of this game is going to be very self-explanatory as far as uh, what the card does. Just follow what the card does. There are some weird interactions sometimes, like, you know, for example, Grandpa Poo here. Uh, like, this is a special Poo card. Choose any two Poo cards from your hand and use both of them to attack one opponent. He must defend against each of them separately. Grandpa Poo himself cannot be defended against. So you can't really defend against him. And he gets to throw two different cards. So as I said, it's all pretty much self-explanatory, uh, very straightforward type game. It's supposed to be meant to be really quick. You're supposed to play your card within three to five seconds. Basically just throw a card, throw a card, throw a card, throw a card. Defend against, throw a card, defend against. And it's meant to just be have fun. If this is your kind of sense of humor and you like this kind of game, definitely look it out. Uh, as I said, it's by Wild Thing. It's a very simplistic, quick game to play. Uh, so we'll have some more videos in the future. Um, so definitely watch for them. Uh, thank you for watching Ordinary Gaming, and you have a good day.